Erwin Star hasn't watched the Rings of Prime despite returning to Lord of the Rings y universe. Well, right, putting that nonsense aside, the real question here should be, why the heck should she watch the Rings of Power? Yes, hello, mean friend, and welcome to it, another video. My dear friends, we all know that uh, there's quote-unquote journalists, because true journalism is gone. Journalists, uh, in the true sense of the word, they don't exist anymore. They are all paid shills. I mean, there were, used to be, a couple of... Uh, journals, newspapers, and journalists that you could more or less consider to be objective, although, once again, a, a, a grain of sand in a desert. But uh, whatever you read on the internet today has to be 100% biased towards one side or another, or really towards anything. But uh, my question is, why, why would you even ask those actors these questions? Now, just, just use common sense. I know, I know, this is very difficult thing for many people. This is something I shouldn't ask anybody in 2023 to do, to think, to actually use your brains. Is there any reason why an actor who played in The Lord of the Rings by Peter Jackson should watch The Rings of Power? No, they've got no connection to that. Firstly, because The Rings of Prime by Prime Video is not The Lord of the Rings. There, there is no grain of Tolkien in that show. And secondly, for most of them, it started as a job, yes, we know, by now, 20 years later, more than 20 years later, that each and every single actor who played in Peter Jackson's The Lord of the Rings uh, considered it one of the best experiences in their lives. And the cast and crew that were shooting The Lord of the Rings at New Zealand in New Zealand uh, became basically virtually a family. And that is exactly why. Why would they watch something that they know? Because it is apparent it is not it is it is no secret this is no secret the fact that the rings of power is just a cash cow or what amazon thought would be a cash cow but really turned out to be a huge disaster and a mocking material for everybody why would they care about this um commercial huge awful product made by incompetent people made by people who have got no love for the source material people who don't feel the same for the source material, for the story, for Tolkien, as many of the creators like Peter Jackson, Philippa Buens, Fran Walsh, Alan Lee, John Howe, and even some of the actors did over 20 years ago. But still, still, those shells need clicks. So they ask actors questions, so they can use one sentence in an article. And that's really the core of the matter. They ask an actor a stupid question to which there's really only a, a an, an answer that will take one sentence, one utterance. And they will build an entire article around that sentence, around that utterance. And then YouTubers, such as myself, can take that sentence which uh, expand it into an entire article and make an entire video about it. So welcome. So shall we dive into the article by ScreenRun.com and find out what um, Miranda Otto Erwin said about the Rings of Power. Erwin Starr hasn't watched Rings of Pride despite returning to the Lord of the Rings universe. And here, my dear friends, you can see, by the way, before we start, a clear difference between me and other YouTubers, other influencers who are covering the Lord of the Rings news and things like that. I am not lying to you. I am I am blatantly honest. <laughs> right then. Lord of, the, uh, Lord of the Rings star Miranda Otto reveals uh, that she hasn't watched the Rings of Pram despite reprising her Eowyn role for an animated spin-off. 
<laughs> the Lord of the Rings, Eowyn, Mir- actor Miranda Otter, reveals that she hasn't watched the, uh, the Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Prime, just yet. The actor first portrayed the Rohan noblewoman who would take up arms against the rising darkness of Mordor in Peter Jackson's 2002 adaptation of J.R.R. Tolkien's fantasy epics middle, uh, uh, sorry, middle chapter, The Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers. Otto will reprise Eowyn by voicing her in the upcoming animated movie The Lord of the Rings, The War of the Rohirrim, set to release in April 2024. And there's another thing. I have mentioned that many times in my videos. This makes me feel nauseated. All those spin-offs, prequels, sequels, uh, rip-offs. Just new content, new talking content. We need new talking content. We need new TV shows, new anime. New trading card games. New computer games. Sod off, you bastards. We don't need any of it. We just need the books. As the Rings of Prime Season 2's production continues, Metro discussed the series with Otto. <laughs> and this is, this is all bloody ri- ri- ridiculous. Admitting that she had yet to watch the prequel series. Though Otto stated she would watch it eventually, the actor explained she feels that either going back to rewatch her own contributions to the franchise or anyone else's could be a strange experience. Check out Otto's full response below. I haven't watched Rings of Power yet, but I will get around to it at some stage. It's a funny thing for me because the experience for me was so special that it kind of sits contained for me in that moment. I wish them every success, but in some ways it would be funny for me to go back and try to watch it or watch others. See? I mean, that's just, that that, that says it all. And now they are going to reiterate what other actors said in the past. But but do you know what's interesting? Uh, That this article doesn't mention uh, Bernard Hill, the actor who played Theoden, and who was, uh, if my memory serves me well, the only actor who openly said something negative about the show. If if you want to, go to my channel and search for uh, Bernard Hill. You will find that, that video I covered it months ago. He said, basically, that's not the real thing. I'm not going to watch it. What the hell? It's not The Lord of the Rings. And I went like, Eh, Theoden King! <laughs> so, I mean... The rest of the article is just uh, reiterating what uh, Richard Armitage said and uh, what um, Andy Serkis said. But no, no mention, no mention of Bernard Hill. So if you want to just, you can finish the article for yourselves. It doesn't say anything much. It's just really the, the, the core of the matter is just, just, just leave those actors alone. I mean, just sort of screen rant. Hey, oi! Oi! Screen rant! Sod off! Alright then, let me know in the comments down below what you think, and that will be all. Thank you very much for watching, and I'm out of here.